How's it going guys? Hope you're doing well. It's your Canadian brother from another mother. And it's another beautiful day for us to enjoy. So I just want to give you another update today and uh, let you know how things are going and stuff like that. So basically the um, window frame, well, the window frame uh, basically fully done of the, uh, the entire house and uh, uh, the security house and, uh, and the main building. So the window framing is fully done and uh, right now they're moving to the, uh, what's it called? the pillars i'll show you what, what is ongoing on the pillars and in regards to the window framing completion work the the cost of that was like uh everything based on my record is uh 450k for the window framing 450k is what it cost so so and uh and we're also planning on uh replacing the the uh gate we're going to be replacing the gate and uh, replace it with a rolling gate a roller gate uh, with um, two remote control to open the gate and close the gate stuff like that and we're going to be replacing these uh, railings as well and uh, here are some of the materials that have uh, been brought in for the gate they're still going to be bringing in some more they're working on the fabricate fabrication and right now so yeah that's that about the gate and uh, so in regards to the pillars uh, work is still ongoing on that so uh, this uh, they're basically working on the molding uh, for the pillars and uh, work is still ongoing on that and uh, as soon as they're done with the pillars i will let you know what the price of uh, the pillars uh, cost as well so yeah so work is basically uh, ongoing on uh, with the pillars ah. so work is still ongoing and i'll just give you an update as things goes anyways and uh, the pillars i'm basically excited for it and uh, yeah so that's that in regards to the pillars. So yeah, let's go inside. So yeah, um, so in regards, uh, there's some um, adjustment I needed to be done in some of the uh, POP work uh, in the house. So this was cut open uh, because um, the electrician actually made some adjustment and they had to open the POP. So they actually had to cut it and it's already fixed now. And uh, I'll take it to the kitchen too. We got uh, the kitchen aspect also as well, uh, uh, repaired as well. It's a, it's a little bit clean compared to before. We actually had someone sweep, sweep the uh, the whole house. It's becoming a mess already. So yeah, this is the uh, POP. We actually had to cut this much to get it redone on this uh, section because uh, and uh, the electrician will actually have to put uh, the lights back on. And uh, yeah. So everything is looking really good so far and uh, the building has uh, 24 hours uh, electricity and uh, so the, the security guy is the one basically enjoying the, the light so right now 24 hours electricity and um, yeah it's pretty, pretty awesome in regards to that but actually the whole house right now is isolated there's no power to the house Actually, there's no power, there's no light. The, the old light for the upstairs and downstairs is um, shut off. But there's actually light to the socket. So you can still do some charging. You need to charge your phone or, or stuff like that. Yeah, you can see the light. So if you need to charge your phone or stuff like that, there's still light. Oh, that's it. And um, just some minor adjustment that needs to be done with the, uh, what's it called, TV console. And that will be done uh, maybe next week. And then today is Friday. A lot of you guys have gone to for prayer and uh, gone out for a weekend. And especially when it's weekend, where they call me for uh, that they need materials. And when they sometimes they, when it's uh, Friday, they will call me that hey, we need material for this, we need material for that. I'll just tell them yeah, no problem on Monday, because I know like when I give them money for material on Friday, you know what happens on Friday. From Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's partying time. So just know that you're probably going to be spending from your money for material for sure. So what I do is I wait till Monday. Monday morning is just when I send them money for material or I'll go sort for the material with them and um, get the material. So it's always on Monday. I always make sure I look, okay, what, what day is it? Is it Tuesday? Is it, if it's Friday, I just say, okay, yeah, I'll get back to you. I will not send nothing on the, on the Friday. Only if they want some payments in regards to their workmanship or stuff like that. So it depends on the agreement as well. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, let's go upstairs. So it, it rained here 
about um, two days ago and uh, like it was like like crazy rain like heavy rain man. and uh, it's actually a good time to actually see if some things are leaking or you know stuff like that anyways and um, one of the guys one of the bricklayer told me actually some of them actually sleep on, on site till they are done their job so one of them actually made me understand that we have a leak in the building so thank god they are letting me know now anyways to tell you the truth even though I am not happy about it today so in this room here, which is supposed to be like a studio room or office area in the master bedroom, he told me like there was water pouring hard, man. Like it was like there was no ceiling at all. Like the water was hard, um, pouring like crazy. And you can see some of the, the, the uh, you know, he said from over there, it was like unbelievable. And you can even see it probably affected has affected the light here. And uh, you can barely see any light here. So we've already called uh, a, a, someone to come check the uh, the roof. And uh, uh, the, the, the process that will be here tomorrow. And tomorrow morning I'll let you know how, how that goes. And uh, well, what? On the positive side, I'm happy with it. We actually find it this now. And uh, speaking of finding, we're also looking for as much leak as we can find. And the plumber, they've been running all kinds of tests, man, and I've been picky. Like, any little thing that uh, doesn't work or doesn't work as good, I'll always complain. Like, hey, come check this, come check that, come check this. Just so when everything is all done and they, 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 they are gone, I won't have to be calling them back or stuff like that, right? So, they're still running all kinds of tests, making minor changes and stuff like that. So, yeah, the leak I showed you guys the other day. Uh, uh, this uh, pipe that uh, got busted the other day so yeah, yeah this is it here it's got um, uh, replaced and there's no sign of any leak everything is looking really good uh, they ran a pressure test on the uh, pipe and everything everything is looking good there's actually water uh, right now so yeah the plaster work is basically almost done on all on on the walls and on uh, the dog house so everything is looking really good they're about to cover the uh, chambers as well so yeah, they're about to cover all the chambers as well and uh, yeah, work is still ongoing and uh, things are getting close. And I did um, um, uh, talk to the uh, landscaping guy the other day and uh, he, he came up with some design and stuff like that. So when the uh, paint job is all done, then he will come in because we're trying to reduce as much people on site as, as possible. Just so they don't interfere with each other or stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna get. Um, I'll, be, I'll be waiting for the guy tomorrow. He's supposed to show up, the guy for the roof. And uh, um, I'm glad we were able to find it now. Hopefully, he can actually. It's a, it's a simple fix, and he'll be the one doing the um, the doghouse, the the roofing of the doghouse as well. So um, everything uh, work is ongoing so far. Everything is looking really good, and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the update for today anyways, and uh, I'll keep uh, keeping you updated on how things go and stuff like that. So I did give you the price for the uh, window framing. Everything all said and done with lay, with workmanship, the materials and everything cost about um, $450,000. That was what the, 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 the cost was for the uh, window framing. And I think they did a really good job. So, um, and I'll let you know next week the gate be removed and replaced will be next week i'll let you know how much of that cost as well and every single job that gets uh, completed and the tv console will be fully done for a fact and uh, the electrical aspects too will be fully done by this time next week for sure unfailingly since there's light in the house now and uh, so i'll keep you up updated and let you know what the prices are as we go so if you have any question or you have or you decide or something you see that didn't look right you can put it in the comment section let me know and i'll make calls and uh, make adjustments accordingly because all of this is actually really new for me too as well so i'm also learning in the process as well so i hope you're inspired to uh, continue your project or start your project and uh, i wish you all the best and i hope you enjoyed this video i would love to you hear uh, see your comments and uh, try to reply and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, peace.